Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to find duplicate files on your computer using a program called Duplicate File Finder. So they have two versions, they have a free version and a pro version, and you can see from their website here what the difference is. Uh, so depending on what you're trying to do, the free version might work fine, and it usually does if you're just trying to do the basic task of finding duplicates, but if you want to use some of these more advanced options, then you'd have to go with the pro program. Okay, so I have it installed here, so I'm going to run it. So a pretty basic interface. You could save projects once you start them, so you could open them later to do another recheck. Uh, you could do some filtering, and here's the options here, such as loading the last project on startup, protecting system files and folders so you don't delete them on accident, uh, show the user checked files in different colors and make it easier to tell them apart, uh, warn you if all files in a group are marked for deleting, and you could check the uh, process priority like that. And down here you have some options too. So auto check files with older file dates. So I'll show you what that means in a second. But here's some other options here. So when you see the results, you could have it sorted based on this criteria here. And then created, modified, and accessed. And then we'll do this when we're after we're done scanning. Then you have your scan method here. 100% equal files. Then you could do also similar files, similar file names, and file size equal file sizes, uh, similarity ratings, and display results after a scan. All right, so we're going to add a couple folders here. Click Add Folder. Let's add Documents. And then I have another folder on another drive that has some of the same files in it on this E drive here called Other. Okay, you can, so you could add multiple folders, obviously, so we're just going to do two, and then scan subfolders is checked, and then you can add or remove folders from here as well. So we're just going to click on Start Scan. This should be pretty quick because there's not a lot of files. Then you get this message here that we saw in the options. If Protect System Files and Folders option is activated, then some, in, some common folders like Program Files will not be scanned. Do we want to continue? Yes. All right, so 31 duplicate groups and 74 files found. So it breaks them down into group here. Let's see if I could, uh, I'm recording at a low resolution. So here's the group numbers with, so each group will have their own set of files, like group four has four matches. So this brochure, it was found in documents, documents PDF files, and then documents confidential files, scan documents, and then also in that other file. So four different locations. And if we expand the created date here, so mark these three because they were all created on pretty much the same date, just within you know a couple seconds. And then you can see we have our other groups here, three of this file, two of this file, like that. Found some zip files. I found three and three of this. And then of course, like I said, once you pick your criteria for what's being checked, then you could act on it. So I did the default, which is older file dates uh, going by date are created. Okay, so now what we could do with the results here, so we can move the checked files, okay, delete checked files to recycle bin, delete checked files altogether, move them, copy them, and create symbolic links. So we're going to move checked files, and then we're going to pick a destination here. Let's just go on the desktop, make a new folder. All right, so now that we have our folder, uh, our action, we're going to click on Perform. So they recommend sending them to the recycle bin. But we're just going to say OK to what we want to do. We really want to move to duplicates. OK, so you can see here the ones that had some uh, other duplicates. So that there was one for this manual PDF file. There was already a duplicate in another location, so it renamed it to manual one. So if you have more than one duplicate file, it's going to put a number afterwards to keep them uh, separated. Okay, so now all the check marks are gone. And if we go to this duplicates folder, you can see here's our three brochures that were all the same file, but it named them, you know, brochure and then one and two to keep them separate instead of overwriting them. So that way you have a copy of each. Same with the Cisco letter and so on. And so it took them out of that one folder called Other, and put them in this duplicates folder that we just created. So you can see it's pretty easy to use and pretty effective. 
especially if you have a lot of files in a lot of different locations, you could scan multiple folders and find them all. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download this uh, program, and then you could decide if the free one works for you, and if not, you could try the uh, pay-for version. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.